What's up guys, um, Nolan here, AKA Teaneg, I guess, if it's my rapper name. Um, <laughs> I just wanna give a little insight about my song, um, Impossible, that I just dropped, and also talk about how I started writing music. Um, started writing music back in December, so what was that, almost eight months ago now. Um, I took some time away from golf and I needed something to keep myself busy, and I've always wanted to do motivational speaking over top of beats, so I figured why not just write poetry as it started then music and so on and so on anyway um let's uh so each of my songs that i have written i have a couple more for you guys um and i always have more um has to do with my life or something i've been through or something i'm going through or something i'm looking forward to um so with that being said this song here impossible um it was a situation about three months ago um i was at the golf course just got back from a PGA qualifier. I did not play well. Um, so I was a little frustrated already in the beginning. So it wasn't a good time to start uh, poking me like these seven or eight guys did. Uh, but I was on the putting green practicing and these guys, they were throwing golf balls my way and they were rolling towards my feet. And I started, you know, I, I pushed it away in the beginning, pushed it away in the beginning, I had my headphones in. But um, it just got to me too much. And I, uh, it didn't get physical, well, a little bit, but nothing happened, um, but uh, you can only do so much, man. And, and I think it's huge to stand up for yourself, especially when it regards um, into your dreams. So uh, let's get into the song. Uh, all right, so basically the first verse, um, I mentioned, you know, not telling me I can't do something. Don't ever let someone you can't, don't ever let someone you don't know, especially tell you can't do something. Um, and then I talked about the tortoise and the hare. That's one of my favorite stories. Um, and also the guy was losing a little bit of hair when he was messing with me. So no offense to people that are losing hair, but, um, and then I mentioned the weekend warriors, but we'll get into that later. I mentioned it later in the song. Um, and then he was talking some trash until I stepped over two of him, uh, two of his buddies, they were trying to hold me back. And uh, so then I stepped over to him, then he quit making decisions and I assumed he had a nine to five, I shouldn't assume stuff, but it went well with the song. So I said, that's why you quit making decisions like you do in your cubicle. Um, and then I said, uh, notice on a rainy day, can't tell me I'm not shining. So it was about to pour down rain that day. And uh, so, like I said, noticed me, on a rainy day, so I'm shining. <laughs> so when I first started writing music, I thought it was good, but it was actually terrible. Um, I have this guy named Arrington Porter from Chicago, great musician, artist, the man's gonna be a legend. Um, he has some beats and I asked him if I could use them and I sped them up and it had the it had a little jump to the flow so it sounded real good. Um, and so so glad I turned my back to sing for the moment. Um, so when I finally eventually walked away from these seven or eight guys that were messing with me, um, when I get angry I listen to Eminem. So I went to my Eminem playlist, hit shuffle, and Eminem song Sing for the Moment. So it kind of went with me singing the song and the music and that's a fire song by the way. Shout out to Eminem. Um, so glad I turned my back to sing for the moment. This is back to shape and mold. Um, when I'm done with this, it's back to shape and mold in my life because nobody, you know, if I was handed it to you, you couldn't hold it. Um, so you, you can, uh, you can only shape your own life, man. People are going to do it for you. Um, let's see. Uh, I mentioned uh, always chasing weekends instead of chasing your dreams, man. Too many people live for the weekends, man. Um, they spend five days doing something they hate, and then they spend two days doing something they think they love. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, stop doing that. Um, and that's why I said, you don't know what happiness means. Or no, I said, I stay invested in me, you stay invested in things. Things will not make you happy. Um, happiness is a choice, and things, I guess, do make you happy, but material things will not make you happy. It's gotta come from inside. Um, and then I said, but you can't change people, you can only change yourself. That's why I concern me with me and me with myself. Um, 
So you can't change people, but you can only influence them. Um, so basically, just be a leader and uh, you know lead by example. And if they want to follow, great. Add them to your team, whatever. If not, you know they'll stay where they're at. You'll go where you're going. Um, yeah. Uh, the little like bridge piece that I had in there uh, should have knew you're Canadian the way you picked me out uh, Got word the next day that these seven or eight guys were from Canada. No offense to Canadians. I have nothing against you guys It went with the song um, But goose among ducks. I love the duck duck goose thing too, uh, but goose among ducks So I was a goose, you know the Canadian geese um, I said just grazing the green That's all those geese eat is green and I was on the putting green kind of worked out um, I said I'm done associating I'm way out of your league like association league um, and then I said why do so many people envy those chasing their dream and I really wanted that part to resonate with people that's why I replayed it and hit the, the delay my boy Mike D hit the delay on that um, so keep chasing your dreams man don't you know a lot of people are mad because they didn't do it or they know somebody that didn't do it or whatever but keep chasing your dream Verse three, well, yeah, the end of the song, basically. Um, it's one of the best verses I've ever written, um, but I still got more more to come. Um, but I basically said I need to stop giving my energy to empty things that empty me. Um, focus on what fills you. Don't focus on the, the empty people, empty things, whatever it is. Don't do that. Um, To inspire and motivate is my purpose, and that's by any means. Um, I literally feel like that's what I've been put here to do, whether it's golf, working out, writing music, waiting tables. Like I literally feel like I've been here, I've been put here to inspire and motivate people, whether it's you know my, my actions or my words or whatever it might be. So that's why I said that part. And um, I said, willing to pay for this life, it can't be taxing. Pay, tax, kind of coincides with one another. Um, and then, and then I finally stopped myself and I said, and I know that not every action needs a reaction. Don't react to everything you hear and see. Don't do it because that means it has uh, an upper hand over you and you have no power and that took power away from you. Um, and then the last bar of the song, I think it is, um, these words are a part of me, meaning that they're just a fraction. So like making music, just a part of my life, uh, playing golf is just a part of my life, you know, What's your one day is just a part of my life. Working out is a part of my life. So it's just a fraction. Um, and then the last bar is probably my favorite. Um, a fraction of my gifts that I have, like I just said, all those gifts. Um, it's just crazy that one is actually rapping. Like rapping like a gift, but also making music. So I hope you guys like the song. Um, like I said, I got more to come, but peace. <laughs> Don't tell me I can't do something, you've never even tried it You can't tell me what's on your mind, you've never even applied it This an everyday grind and you can't run at this pace Losing hair, you jump first, I'm the tortoise in this race